When Gilbert Baker designed the original pride flag in 1978, it had eight stripes in it. And then it changed over time because of fabric availability to become the six stripe flag we're familiar with. The pride flag has been modified dozens of ways to showcase how the LGBTQ community has evolved over the years, but also the different types of situations that they face. In 2016, in Philadelphia, there were a series of episodes of racism and discrimination in the queer community. We wanted to bring attention to this and added black and brown stripes for awareness, inclusion, and to welcome people of color. Such a small, small change to the flag, but a large impact. And I don't imagine it was easy at all. When it was released, it was criticized as being unnecessary and divisive. Is talking about race issues unnecessary? Is including people divisive? We need to acknowledge our flaws, and I think that's what the new flag does with the new colors. It has us acknowledge we have failed you as members of our community. Maybe it's a small gesture, but it's a gesture. It's an acknowledgement of not only issues that exist, but frankly, people who exist. When you think about how LGBTQ identity is talked about for the most part, or has been until today, it's always been very white very mainstream, very normative, very binary. Anti-racist work uh, really begins internally to identify the ways in which you are perpetuating a system based on white supremacy. Things like that are reasons why I, I just cannot separate being Black and being trans. It's truly detrimental to who we are as people to hinder like another person based on a factor that they can't control. There is no place for racism. There is no place for um, discrimination. What's different about Pride this year is that the spirit of the parades has really shifted from parade to protest. Pride at its birth was a social movement and a, a, a revolt and a riot and an act and a demand for respect, equality, consideration and equity for queer people in the United States. I think with the Black Lives Matter movement, it's a great time to talk about intersectionality and acknowledging that Pride was started by trans women of color. And if we keep talking, keep talking, and keep learning and educating ourselves, then we know what we're up against, what we're fighting for. Black LGBTQ plus lives matter. Black trans lives matter. They need to matter. We need to make sure that they have not just a seat at the table, but several seats. Everyone has work to do, whether you're in the community, not in the community, whether you're black, you're white, you know, we can all be doing our part, no matter how big or small it is. Just because you're not in the community doesn't mean you can't show up to fight.